I am joined by this week's TU Athlete of the Week golfer, Taylor French from the Taylor women's golf team, as she and the Trojans obliterated the Crossroads League field last week, winning by 38 shots up in Michigan to take home their fourth straight Crossroads League championship. And oh, by the way, Taylor also won the individual title, won by seven shots. She put on two of the best rounds in program history. First off, Taylor, what was it like to bring home another team title? Um, it was really cool. It was really fun. We were thinking this year was going to be a little bit closer just because Iwu and Bethel had gotten better this year and we had played before with them and they had, you know, kind of kept it close to us. And so we were, I wouldn't, don't want to say nervous, but we were like, okay, we really need to bring it. And then ended up winning by the most that we won out of every year that we've won. So that was really cool. Really fun. Um, just a super good team win. Everyone played really really well um we couldn't have done it without our teammates so even the girls that didn't play that came and support us supported us they were just phenomenal super energetic and excited to watch us play so that just brought a lot of energy and it was just really fun <laughs> when you look at you guys rolling up by two shots after the first yeah. round and then you guys hit the gas pedal in a big way and, and turned it on in that second round what happened between rounds one and rounds two because for people that don't know, there isn't a lot of time since you guys played those first two rounds in the same day. There isn't a lot of time in between those first and second rounds. Right. I think for me, I had been watching golf stat. And when I saw that we were only up by two, I was like, oh, shoot, we really need to turn it on. And so I just kind of you guys got to buckle down and grind through those that next 18. I think coach always tells us that the first nine of the second 18 is the most important. If we win that, then we've got that day. And so just making sure you stay focused and hydrated and eat enough food. And just, I mean, it's a long day. You're out there for eight hours. So you just really need to push through that first nine of the second 18. Um, and I, we did that. Um, we beat everyone by a lot that first nine. And so it was just really cool to see um, us continue to grow and like push hard through that yeah <laughs> well you had a pretty good second round I would say you shoot four under which <laughs> tied the program record for the lowest in single round you had five birdies one bogey after you shot six over in round one so what worked for you was it the snacks was it the water was that <laughs> what they did for you I think well I started off with a birdie and so obviously when you start off well it kind of helps you get the, that momentum that you need and I just Stay, tried to stay focused on, you know, just this next shot, you know, don't look ahead, don't look behind, but okay, what can I do on this shot, go through my process, my routine, um, and just focusing on, okay, I hit a bad shot, got to go find my ball and hit it again, or I hit a good shot, okay, let's make a putt, and so just making sure you're staying in the moment and present and not looking too far in the past or the future is really important, so I, when I got to like four under halfway through the round, I just made sure that I was, you know, not trying to think too far ahead to like where I'm going to finish, just keeping in the moment. It's really hard <laughs> when you're like through 13 holes for under, you're like, oh shoot, I really need, I want to keep it here, but just making sure to stay calm. And yeah, it was pretty fun. <laughs> Coach Andrew had a quote uh, in the write-up after, after the, the two rounds, he said it was probably the best round in program history, considering the course difficulty and the stage that it was on with it being the Crossroads League Championship, when you hear your coach say that, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, we've, I've put in a lot of time and effort into golf. And so just, I guess it feels very rewarding knowing that all that hard work kind of paid off um, at like the, the prime time, I guess, you know, conference championship, it's the best time to do it. And so, yeah, I was, it meant a lot that he said that. <laughs> With that big second round, you vault yourself into the lead heading into the very last round. So you had to sleep on the lead. Yeah. You having to sleep on the on the yeah. lead a lot. What was it, what was it like for you to have to sleep on the lead? Um, I tried after the round just to have fun with my teammates and not think about it. We went and got dinner and just hung out at the house. And so, you know, I was I slept very restfully that night because I was very nervous. But I just think my teammates helped calm my nerves and we just had fun. Like that's part of being a team and part of why I love our team so much is we're super close. And so, you know, coming off of a day where we played really well, the second round um, just was really fun. Like we just had, we ate dinner, ate, stuffed ourselves with food and just, you know, we're together as a team. And so that helped calm my nerves a lot. I think going into the next round, I, 
just try not to have any expectations. You know, after you shoot 68, it's hard not to, but um, just, you know, not every round is going to be the same. And so just keeping that in mind and just trying to, you know, grind through one shot at a time, staying with the process and you're going to make bogeys, you're going to have bad shots and just making sure that you're not, again, looking too far ahead and just staying calm and present in the moment and not looking back on that 68 thinking, oh, I wish I could have shot that again. Just, you know, staying focused and again, not having any expectations about how to finish the round. So. Well, Taylor, you started off that final round with a bang. You equaled the very <laughs> first hole. I'm sure that had to calm any nerves that you had, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was like, hey, it, it felt good. I was I peered my first two shots and then had like a six footer for Eagle. So that was pretty cool. Um, I think after that, I was like, OK, we got this. We got this. We're two under the starting off. So, you know, you got two strokes to get back to even. And so just, you know, just relax and have fun. Yeah. What was it like when you knocked in that final putt uh, that secured uh, the individual championship for you and the, and the team championship for the team? Um, it was a really great feeling. I <laughs> kind of three putted my last hole. So Mr. Simmel, Annie's dad made a joke. That's the happiest three putt I'll ever have. So, um, that was kind of just, it was a big relief. Um, I was super nervous going in that last hole. I don't know why, but just, I mean, you're about to win a conference championship. So it's kind of, kind of scary, kind of nerve wracking and having your whole team and all the other teams standing there watching, you really want to make sure you finish well. And so it was really rewarding. And I, I don't know if you saw the video that coach posted, but I took a huge sigh of relief. I was like, oh, okay, we're done. But it was, it was really fun. Um, it felt really good. I loved being able to congratulate my teammates, Rachel Kors. She played like a baller too finished in second so that was just really fun to be able to celebrate with her and just the rest of the team I mean winning four conference champions chips in a row is not an easy thing and so getting to celebrate my senior year with uh, the other four seniors on our top five was just really exciting and fun so you and the team are he heading back to Oklahoma City of course that that you and the girls know well uh from a, a national championship a couple of years ago what's the excitement like as you guys are jumping back into preparation uh, for the national tournament back on uh, May 25th to the 28th. Yeah, we're really excited. Um, these next two weeks are pretty key, just making sure we're focusing on um, what we need to focus on. So whether that's short game or long game, whatever we need to work on, just making sure we're ready and feel good about that. We're really excited. We think we can win it. So we're just trying to, you know, not again, not put too much pressure on ourselves, not to have any expectations, but just, willing to go out there and, you know, play our hearts out, leave everything out on the course for our last couple of rounds of college golf. So we're super excited. It's kind of sentimental and weird feeling, but we're, we're happy to and excited to go out there and play. So. Well, Taylor was so happy and proud of the way that you played and the team played in, in the conference championship and wish you nothing but the best of luck out of the, uh, the national championships coming up here in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That is Taylor French, this week's TU Athlete of the Week. For more information on Taylor Women's Golf, just log on to taylortrojans.com.